What's up guys, it's how Nick here and welcome back to another episode of Splatoon 3 single player. In the last episode we went through sites uh, 2 and actually we went just through 3 I think, yeah. We went through site 3 um, and with that we actually were able to get to site 5 um, as we had the option of either going to site 2 or to site 5 or site 4 and I decided to go to site 5. So we're here at site 5, uh, I did one of the zip caster levels, and um, now I'm going to start things off with a uh, one way ride through target town. Actually before I do that, I'm going to try this thing again. I know I messed up last time, but hopefully I can get it this time. We'll see. Never mind. I should probably ink my area more, but I think I should be able to get it this time. Wait for those, oh, oh it's back here. Okay. Cool. I still got hit. Alright, I should probably just get rid of this thing. <laughs> I hate how long it takes to respawn. It's kind of annoying. Alright, I'm gonna... 600 for that? Nah, it's not worth it. That's not worth it. What'd you find, little buddy, over here? Oh, nice. I got a pack of cards. Pretty cool. Can I make... I can make that jump. I can definitely make that jump. I do not need to spend... 600 eggs just to have an easier time at that jump. I don't need that. Alright, let's do this. I bet you all this is just for another sunken skull, probably. But you know what? I'll take it. Why not? It's the uh, achievement that really counts. There we go. I made the jump. I'm so good. Beautiful. Where do I go now? Shoot. Okay. Nice. Okay, over here. Very cool. And I'm going back over there. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, another second scroll. Oh, is that Krusty Sean? I think that's Krusty Sean. Ryan out here in Scorch Gorge is in more ways than one. Sweaty shell hashtag Viking trip. Cool. Okay. All right. So let's do the level now. Um, I might try the new, the other new weapon. Actually, I don't even think did we do a Splatana? I don't think we did a Splatana mission. But um, this mission here looks like it has the tri stringer, which it's asking me to try it, and also gives me. 300 extra eggs, so why not? Um, so yeah, this is the new bow weapon that, um, it's pretty much the, not the big, like, I don't know the word for it, the big, I guess, not really cell point, but, um, the big, um, main new weapon in Splatoon 3. So that's pretty cool, and it is a pretty cool weapon. I do like it. But yeah, I like how like it has like explosives to it, like that. That's very cool. Nice. Okay. The range on it is okay though. Nice. Okay. We're doing good. Gotta swim through there. I think this this level I remember seeing on YouTube. Some guy struggling with it, so it might take me a few tries to get this, or it might take me one because I know kind of the trick to it since I did watch a YouTube video on it. I didn't really spoil myself, but it was like more of just like um. What's it called? Cool, got it. Um, more of just like, I want to see what one, the harder levels of single player look like, and yeah, I'm not disappointed because apparently this is pretty hard. Cool, got that one. Nice, got that. Ah, shoot, I missed that one. Ah. 
because I think I think the whole the whole thing with the tri stringer, which is really cool, um, is you don't really want to aim for your opponent. You want to aim around your opponent so that they get hit by the explosives and um, it gives like a more of a wide range of area so you can hit like more targets and that's like the whole thing with it which is pretty cool and probably would be a good weapon for me since I'm terrible at aiming um, and yeah I might switch weapons though if I do fail the five tries that it gives me but we'll see also, I saw the Grizzco tri stringer. That thing looks insane. Instead of like having like three explosives that this one has, I think it's like nine, which is crazy. It has like crazy amount of range and everything. Shoot, I missed that. Damn, I should, maybe I should get rid of like motion control or something. It doesn't really, I mean, it's hard to tell. Cause like, I think it, it looks like honestly that you don't need to destroy all the targets because it seems like it's only the ones towards the end that really like matter because those are the only ones that like open gates and stuff but i could be wrong because it might be that like it has to be everyone before that as well so it's hard to tell but this is weird though, like why does it introduce a new weapon and tell you to try it? Unless I missed a mission, but it's like, why introduce a new weapon and have like, target test pretty much, when you never really played with this weapon and it's a new weapon from the series, so it's like, kind of weird game design in my opinion. I tried something new there, but that didn't really work out that well. Okay, cool, got that. Yeah, so the whole objective really is to aim towards the middle, so the explosives go off instead of, um... What's a co- What? I just jumped- What? How did that one- Alright, I'm a little confused on that. Because I literally... I just jumped. So wouldn't I still be on the rail, technically? Because I just jumped up. I didn't move to the left, I didn't move to the right. Unless it's like some... Pro controller drift. But it's like... Why the hell... Did I fall off that rail when... All I did was jump up. Like, that does not make any sense to me. I think the good thing, though, is that you do get your, like, 50, uh, power eggs back. Because this does give you, like, a good amount of power eggs as you go through the level. So you do get your, like, fee back, even if you do fail. I mean, that is if you make it, like, semi-decent far. God damn it. Maybe I should turn the sensitivity off. Uh, I can't even do that. That's really stupid. Because I feel like it's too sensitive. I have to be like more precise with my aiming instead of like more frantic. It's also just hard to tell when it's going to hit. Or like th the range of this thing. Because I haven't really used it that well. I don't think it has... It doesn't have as much range as the charger. But it definitely does have I think its range might be might be Spire Shot Pro. Maybe a little bit less than Spire Shot Pro. That's what it kinda seems like, but it could be wrong. I haven't really labbed out this weapon that much, honestly. Um I played it a little bit at um in Grace Co. Played a little bit in Splatfest. Uh played a little bit I mean, I think that was really about it. I played a little bit of Splatana. I, I feel like I played more of the Splatana than I have of the, um, str the Stringer here. Mainly because the Stringer... I haven't played the variation of the Stringer, but um, I played the uh, variant of the um, 
Sakana being the Sakana Stamper uh, because of its um, what's it called? There we go. Uh, because of its um, it was used in uh, Grisco. I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna do Samron for a while. Samron is honestly, Samron's a lot. God damn it, I missed that. Samron's a lot harder, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the, um, I don't know if it's because of the, um, damn, it's like the end's right there too, which sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna change weapons. Oh, retry from checkpoint, yeah, I'm gonna do that because there's only one checkpoint, like, why would I do that? It's so stupid. Uh, I might try rapid blaster. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do heavy splat link. Why not? I'm not. I guess I'm not the biggest fan of tri then. Oh, actually, this might be harder. I mean, this level definitely looks like it's made for tri -stringer. Actually, it might be for blasters as well because it's really the blast radius or whatever. It's really yeah, like. I love how the Tri-Stringer is a combination of like a Charger and a um, and a Blaster as well as like kind of like a Splatling because it has two charges to it. Uh, one being the um, one I think giving it power and the other one giving it explosives. So I really like that. Yeah, it's a lot easier with the Heavy splatling. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. Um, the whole single player uh, playthrough here, I'm pretty much speed running through it because I kind of just want to get to the end, and I probably will do like the other missions that I missed um, off screen, or um, maybe I'll do like one of the hardest missions or whatever on screen to show you guys and my experience or whatever um but yeah i kind of want to speed run through it just so that you know i show off the bosses mainly is a big thing and um also just to get the hero black uh, hero shot replica or whatever and also to um get any other like bonus content like gear and um yeah, and I'll probably be showing off a lot of the, um, what's it called, rank modes and stuff. I haven't really played that much since, um, since the last episode, which, sorry, I didn't post anything yesterday, but, um, yeah, uh, I haven't really, damn, that was bad. Oh my god, no! That was so bad, oh my god! I hate this level already. I literally was one shot off. Like that, I don't know why, but for Splatoon 3, some reason, I literally don't know why, I cannot define range. I literally can't, I don't know why. I mean, maybe it's because like I haven't played Splatoon 2 in a while or whatever. Or maybe it's because like I haven't I, I really don't know what the what the, the deal is because it's like in Splatoon 2 I didn't really have that problem maybe just because I made the jet squelch or whatever but it's like I just for some reason Splatoon 3 I just cannot I cannot like figure out like like the different ranges which doesn't make any sense because it does show like on the reticule like if you're close by to your to the target or not to actually hit it and like I've been playing for a while uh, I've been playing since day one and it's been a week I feel like I have gotten better um, definitely with like my mains like the sushi machine and um, I've been trying to get back into the dually sculptures again because even though I don't like wave breaker I kind of like it <laughs> honestly like it's a hypocrite but like I, I like from using wave breaker like more frequently I'm getting like more kills and like I'm actually seeing that like like wave breaker versus dualies is actually broken because 
dualies are shooting and if they they have to stop shooting and jump over the wave breaker like other weapons can jump and shoot but for dualies it's first of all a lot harder to do so because if you jump and shoot it's dodge rolling and if you dodge roll you're not actually gonna dodge roll the uh what's it called you're not gonna dodge roll the um um you're not gonna dodge roll the wave breaker so you're still gonna get hit by it so like wave breaker versus dualies wave breaker pretty much wins because the dualies have to jump over it and like there's definitely gonna be like a second of delay like before they start shooting again so they have to stop shooting and then that's when you can like take advantage of it and like so many people are using dualies because dualies are really good in this game so it's just like god damn <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's see. I can definitely upgrade some stuff now. Now that I have a lot of, um, upgrade points, might as well just upgrade everything that I can. Um, I do not have enough sardinium for anything else, though. Oh, I could notch. I can't do that. I'll do ninja squid, too. Why not? All right, cool. Uh, how much is that? 700? No thanks. I'm gonna try... Actually, yeah, I think I have to do that. Never mind. Yeah, okay. So that gives me access to that. What did you find, little guy? Over here? Where are we going? Where are you? Okay. Cool. Got 25 there. Sick. Okay. Um, hopefully we can fight another boss in this episode. I don't really know, but hopefully we can. Does that have a fee? Doesn't. Okay, I don't really care. Uh, I can get past here now, too. Cool. Uh, what is this one? Shooter on rails. This one looks interesting. I might do that one. But I can get past everything right now. If I want to. I'm gonna do this one though. Why not? It has a 30 fee. It has a jet sculpture. I love the jet sculpture. So I'm gonna use the jet sculpture. It also has the bamboozler. And bamboozler, let me tell you, absolutely sucks. Now that it has no damage power up, yeah, try this. Okay, I'm gonna try the worst weapon in the game. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm going with my boy jet sculpture. I haven't played jet sculpture in this game yet. And I'm glad I can now. Because I think I'm level 14. I need to be level 15 to get Jet Sculpture. But goddamn, I love Jet Sculpture. Like, Jet Sculpture in 2, I understand the hate. I, I really do after watching um, this one video where it's like, you can literally just special spam with Jet Sculpture with um, Tenta Missiles and everything. But now that Jet Sculpture doesn't have Tenta Missiles, I feel like it's going to get less hate. Like, a little bit less hate. But I feel like Jet Sculpture for Splat Zones is really good. Mainly because of the fact that Inkback in Splat Zones I feel like is really good because you're controlling that area pretty much. You have almost absolute control over that area with by being able to suck up the enemy's ink. So it's like, in that case, it's like really good. And like, just Jet Sculpture already just has good ink coverage so i feel like jet sculpture for splat zones is just going to be really good for me again and i'm probably going to main it again um it's sub i don't really like it's got angle shooter which is like that new sub that it's kind of like a tripwire that if you hit them it does a little bit of damage um directly on oh i missed that one shoot okay i gotta jump off um if you shoot it directly, it does damage and um, censors the enemy. Um, but if you shoot it, if it's just laying there and the enemy like walks by it, then it just activates as like a point sensor. Which why am I missing this? Okay, I have to focus. Um, but yeah, if uh, oh, I could have just looped over. Wait, did I miss it? Oh, I missed that one. My bad. Um. But yeah, it's not a bad sub. I just think it's not as good as the other ones. Um, it does take up less ink consumption, though. I think it's like ink consumption's like maybe 30% of your ink tank. 
could be wrong, but I think it's 30. Yeah, I definitely missed some switches there. Okay. Um. But yeah, I definitely feel like I'm going to main um, Jet Sculpture again in Splat Zones. I think it's going to be a really good uh, weapon for Splat Zones. Which ones did I miss? I thought I got them all. What the hell is going on? Oh, are there some behind me? I think there's some behind me. Yeah, gotcha. Sneaky little one. Alright, that should be it though. Yeah. So we jump up there. And the end's right there. Cool. Yeah, I really like Jet Sculpture. I think, yeah, with Jet Sculpture, it's like, again, good in coverage, good special, decent sub, um, great range, pretty good mobility. It's like, you really can't go wrong. Um, it is a four shot kill, which is the only like downside where a lot of other weapons are either three shot or two shot or even one shot kills. But then again, I can't aim. So it's like those other weapons that are two shot, three shot, uh, one shot kills are just like requires aiming. And I don't have aiming skills. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm just bad at aiming. Uh, another zip lat or zip caster level. Interesting. Zipping over the neighborhood. Very interesting. Can I cover this? I could. I'm going to. Okay. Gives me an upgrade point, which is pretty cool. What is this one? It'll go far if you shoot far. Okay. Interesting. Uh, nothing here. I think I'm just going to move on. I want to fight a boss, so let's go to site six, which I think, is this the last site? No, it's not. We're getting closer though. I'm surprised I haven't fought another boss, so. Oh, I see one up there though. Huh? I see lots of sea, but there's hardly any land. I wonder how long it's been like this. Oh, hey, I'm getting a whole bunch of reading from the top of that weird building over there. That's gotta be Gramps. Come on, Agent 3, let's go. All right, I'm gonna try my best. Oh, that's all the way over there. Got it. I wonder if I can actually just get to there. Uh, no, I can't. Maybe I can. I don't know, it's hard to tell. What do you find, little guy? What's over here? Got some more eggs, cool. Sardinium, also cool. I need one more to do any upgrades. Actually, no, I can do upgrades right now. Uh, no, I need four for this. I kind of want to do this one, honestly, because I want to get a better hero shot. Cause I don't really care about Small fry, no offense. Also, I don't really care about splat bombs or sensor or ink resistance. Actually, ink resistance isn't bad, but yeah. Uh, let's go up here. All right, let's see. Can we actually? No, we can't. So I might do this one. Actually, I really want to do one that's like cost a fee because usually those are like. Wait, can I not jump to the other ones? I guess because I didn't walk them. Or I didn't walk over them. Oh, I guess we're doing this one. Alright, I might do Luna Blaster for this one. Because Luna Blaster is a weapon that I kind of picked up. But I was like, eh. It, it's good. Like, don't get me wrong. But it's just like, I don't know. I'm not like, it, it's lacking in range still for me. Um, oh, hello. Like, it's a good weapon, and I think it's really good for with the uh, jump intensity, or whatever it's called. I think it's called jump intensity, which lowers your, um, which increases your range when you jump. Um, so it's very, um, oh, hello. So it's easier to um, hit enemies when you're jumping. Because when you're jumping, you actually, you have like, 
not less aim, but like, um, yeah, your accuracy is not as good. Also, why are these guys jumping? And also, are they shooting out sloshers? I think. I think so. Alright, also, it takes up a lot of ink, but I feel like Luna Blaster, I feel like blasters in general are kind of better now because of the, um, jump intensity, um, power up. But I could be wrong. But yeah, I mean, blasters for me, though, are pretty good just because it's like, again, aiming skills aren't that good. So it's like blaster having that blast radius just makes things easier for me. So, yeah. Oh, got the stamp enemy again. Cool. Yeah, these are like the little cute guys. I remember them from... I think, I don't know if they were in Splatoon 1. I know they're in Splatoon 2. I forget if they were in Splatoon 1 or not. Splatoon 1 was, it's its so long ago. Like, Splatoon 1 is almost 10 years old. I think the Wii U is now 10 years old because the Wii U, I think, came out in 2012. So it's like crazy to think that the Splatoon, that, that um, Splatoon 1 is almost, uh, that Splatoon 1 is almost 10 years old. Like, that's crazy to me. So that means that Nintendo's... That the last Nintendo... The last new Nintendo IP was almost 10 years ago. Like, that's just crazy to think about. Running out of ink. You give me back. And he's dead. This gives me probably the key. But I gotta wait for my ink to get back. Cool. Yep. Gives me the key. And I go back here. See, the other thing too is like with the the levels that don't have fees, I feel like they're just longer. Which kind of sucks. But yeah. And you would think the harder levels would be longer, but I think what did that take me almost five minutes? Oh, okay, actually not as long as I thought, but still, I feel like that's longer than the one that was a fee, but I could be wrong. But then again, I guess it makes sense that it's shorter because it's also harder, so it's like you're actually spending more time because, um, because of the fact that it is harder, so you're going to take more tries to do so. So, it makes sense, I guess. Alright, let's see if we can get up there by the end of the episode. I think we can. What little guy find over here? Gotcha, what do we get? Another gold record. I still don't really know what these gold records really do. Because I don't really see a change in music. But, who knows. Can I actually go up there now? Oh, that's sick. I think I can. I don't even have to do that level. I can just go right to the boss. Sick. I like that. Alright. Let's go to the boss. The Obscurist Chirios. I don't know what that word is. Cheros Circus? Circuitus? That's a big word. I need to look up a dictionary for that one. Alright, though. We're actually... So, it looks like the other signal is the one we skipped, which was Site 4. So, we might actually have to backtrack. Why is this look like a basketball court, bro? Oh, it's Big Man. What up, Big Man? How you doing? Yo! Hey, hold it right there. I love how Big Man talks. He's just, he's so great. Hey, this treasure isn't yours. You can't have it. Hey, I wouldn't fight uh, you if I didn't have to. Hey, this is for Splatville. Yo, what? Bro, that's a... What the hell? This is a fucking Super Mario Sunshine reference. Wow. This is in, uh... That hotel level. I forget the name of it, but... I know exactly... Oh god, he just ink strikes. 
Um, I know exactly the reference. That's crazy. Because, like, they talked about it for so long where it's like, um, what's it called? That, like, oh, um, Mario Sunshine is going to do, like, um, a crossover with, uh, hey, you're pretty good. Um, hey, but I won't lose. Mario Sunshine was supposed to crossover over with, um, I've been too hard to lose. Sorry, I have to read this big man. Um, <laughs> but Mario Sunshine was supposed to do a crossover with Splatoon, and, you know, it was, like, rumored, or, like, there's so many, like, leaks or whatever, but the leaks were all fake. And now here we go. We have a reference of, um, the thing, which is pretty sick. Definitely not what I expected. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I don't have armor. Ugh. Alright, got my special. Alright, I can't tell which one's the real one though. Oh, is it the blinking one? I think it's. Oh, oh god. Maybe it's the one that's throwing a bomb at me. No, it's not that one. Is this one? Oh god. Nope, it's the last one. Of course it is. Because why, why not? I got them all wrong. <laughs> so I think. Is it the one attacking me? Hey, you've got moves. It's true. Hey, but I've got uh more moves. Hey, no more kid gloves. It's big man time. <laughs> I love this character. All right, what time? What is he gonna pull now? But I love. Oh, okay, he's just gonna. He's just giving me high ground. I don't understand. Oh, okay, he's shooting torpedoes now. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I love how the bosses use um, the new specials now, like how, and even subs now too, where it's like, they, uh, oh god, what the hell was that? Is that even legal? Is that even a legal play ref? Sheesh. Anyway, as I was saying, I love how the bosses use like the specials and subs because it really, like, helps you with uh like figuring out what um figuring out for the multiplayer and really prepares you for the multiplayer damn that that shockwave is crazy like what are you actually supposed to do there you can't jump over that that's too big just run away like what the hell am i supposed to do there also can small guy do anything of course you can't Great, I love you small guy. Small guy versus big man, honestly, big man wins because he's big and then he got a small guy and then you can't do anything about it. Alright, uh, I love how small guy is just, I guess he's a distraction, you know, great job doing distraction duty, I love you. Let's do this. Okay, I need some ink of myself, there we go. Oh god, more ink strikes. Oh no, more torpedoes. But yeah, I mean, honestly, looking back at it though, Splatoon 2 added so much. Like, torpedoes, those were added in Splatoon 2. Rellas, those were added in Splatoon 2. Um, the, um, what was the other one? The dualies added in Splatoon 2. The, um, a bunch of different weapon variants were added in Splatoon 2, and I really hope that they do the same for Splatoon 3. Oh nice, I got him first try. Let's go. Okay, I really hope that they continue adding new content. Hey, oof. Hey, well, that was a flop. Hey, <laughs> I really tried to. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so stupid. And there he goes. I love you, big man. Keep up the hard work. What even? Oh, this is another, another piece. I forgot that we were collecting these pieces. Is this the engine? The engine to the helicopter? Or whatever the hell it is, I still don't know. Oh, I got three sardinium. I forgot about that. So yeah, you can see in the map though, there's definitely 
some sort of signal in site four. So we might have to do that. We have to backtrack and go to site four to get it. Good work, Agent Three. I mean, we didn't find Gramps, but we found another treasure. That's something. Do you read me? Come in. Gramps is on the line. Hello, Gramps. Oh, Agent One. Good to hear your voice. I'm uh, still locked uh, in for some kind of room. Finding the exit is like looking for a needlefish in a coral reef. Uh, hold up. I need to uh, do something real quick. Uh, oh, I mean, uh, oh, I better shout whisper. Someone's coming. Ah, you've woken from your hibernation, have you, cuttlefish? Wait, the, that sounded like Grizz. Hmm, that's a uh, former Captain Cuttlefish to whoever you are. Who are you, anyhow? Identify yourself. Grahaha, that's literally, that sounds like Grizz. Uh, you've lively, you're lively for an old bag of... Does your spices have bones? No matter. You can call me Mr. Grizz. I knew it. So Grizz was behind this? Is? X -x -x -x. Now, any, no any Grizz. X -x -x. Mr. or otherwise. X -x. No. It was going, all, it was getting so good. Gramps, are you still there? Ugh. I think we lost him, but we'll find him for real if we keep tracking the signal. That's all you, Agent 3. Let's go. But we're not going to go just yet because we're going to wait until the next episode. So anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like. Oh, that was my controller. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, stay tuned for more Nintendo Nick right here. Not no, not, What am I saying? Stay tuned for more Splatoon 3 single player right here on Nintendo Nick. Bye.